Uh, see if he. Uh, oh no, I'm gonna guess no because I I text Sean. Yeah, he's not gonna text me. Okay, that sucks because I had some. Uh, I want to start start the show off with some controversy. Some controversy. Yeah, because uh, some controversy. Uh, They're on your face. Which ones? All right, these ones. Your old man readers. Yeah. They're over here. They're right here, man. No, I don't need those. No, no, no. Nope. Right here. Give me. My old man readers. This doesn't work with headphones. Nope. You should just go back to the other glasses. Yep. Here we go. Oh, shit. You could actually see. Yeah. (laughs) No, actually. (laughs) I think he just called you ugly. Yeah, that sounds like it. I'd okay. rather not see you. All right, so I'm going to take you me. take it's you so back. Are we recording down already? already? Yeah. Oh, yeah. sweet. Wait, are we talking about controversy? Yeah. yeah. Oh, sweet. I love controversy. Controversy. Okay, this is a little more in-house controversy because... Um, Were you going to piss him off while he was at work? No. <laughs> yes, he was. <laughs> because... Yes, he was. It was... so. It, it was it's the, the clarification, you're going to settle the controversy, but he might have some feedback or input like, oh, no, that's not what I meant um, or whatever. But this is like thing, you know, things when you're when you're observing and you're in your own worldview, you're, you know, you're the star of your own movie. And it's like, mm-hmm. was that was that me or was that him or kind of a thing? I'm the star of a lot of people's movies. I'm sure you think you are. There's video proof. Video proof. What? <laughs> <laughs> so let's go back down memory lane or go. Uh, I love memory lane. Mem- mem- I can barely remember it. Membrane yeah. lane. Mm-hmm. Um, so I wrote down that it was episode four, but it was the fourth recording, but it was actually episode two. Okay. That's a long time that's, ago. Yeah. Con- so what was that? Uh, July 26, 2020. Something like that. Yeah. Um, that was the first time I debuted our our theme. Okay, and if I recall correctly, I this is at the old, the farmhouse. Yeah, and I showed up early, and I was like working. Did you just say chode? Yes, you I chode, chode up early. Yeah, yeah. chode up early. You know, yeah. like you, yeah, you chode, you cha- uh, you taint. I tainted up early. Is <laughs> you tainted that, up early. Is that, right. is that grammatically gotcha. correct? Proceed. Okay. Proceed. 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 Okay. Um. And I'd showed up like an hour or two early and I was working on setting up and then I was working on the theme and I was hoping to get it done by then. And I actually did. Do you remember, remember that time, the first time I played it? Yeah. Okay. So this, and I edited this all out of, uh, the, the, this thing you're about to listen to, uh, well, let's listen to it. And then, um, we'll, uh, we'll review. <laughs> That's the best theme ever. Man, not really. No, I mean, not <laughs> no, have you not seen the Golden Girls? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being my friend. Did, did you, you just for do being that? A friend, yes, yeah. my friend. Oh, I really, I really wish we uh, had all, all known the, the, the lines for that. So you just like say it all at the same time. Yep. Next time. Yeah. <laughs> Next time. But put that, shout, on, yeah. put that on the little keyboard. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go back to the moment in question. <laughs> like the lyrics? I don't know. Okay. Because it's the, thank hold you up. for being a friend, not no, no, my hold friend. Up. No, no, no. That's not the controversy. <laughs> 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 Thank you for being my friend. <laughs> did, did you just do that? Yes. Yeah. I really, I really wish we uh, had all, all known. You said, "Did you just do that?" Yes, I did. That- Who were you saying that to? Oh, Adam wants some clout. That's what the controversy is all about. <laughs> he wants clout for uh, doing the theme music. We both said yes at the same time because Sean was singing and like belted the note on point 
and thought you were talking about him. I think that's what that's about. Oh yeah. No, I was definitely talking to you. I was like, did you just do that? Cause we were, Mm -hmm. we were talking about the theme. So we got some stolen valor here. Yeah. Uh (laughs) (laughs) Master of arms, stolen valor. Adam just wants on that uh, clout train. (laughs) You know how long this shit's been on my body? You just wanted to toot your own horn. Yes. I wanted to toot my own horn, but he said that and I was like, I'm going to delete this out. I'll never talk about this ever again. <laughs> but yeah, then I was like, ah, you know, I should bring this up. This would be fun to, you know, poke, poke at him. Cause he was like, you're yeah. I just hit I'm that. Just note. Saying, I'm, I'm just saying the golden song. girls. I'm just saying the golden girls. <laughs> <laughs> that guy who, who, uh, who can barely make music. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. So that was, that was the controversy. Adam's trying to play debt collector. Getting credit where credit's due. <laughs> uh, that, yep. No, I just wanted to bust his shops, but. Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll still can. Maybe he'll be like, yeah, I got 10 minutes. Be like, hey, tune in today. Right. <laughs> <clears throat> or it's going to be like uh, that one friend that's like three days and five conversations later. Oh, yeah. And that one thing. <laughs> One more thing. One more. Yeah. You're right. I'm not going to go look for it. No. No. Um, so what you got going on this week? What do you want to talk about? Ryan. I don't know. Uh, funny story I ran across. Uh, in uh, some school, this um, like head of cafeteria or whatever stole like a ton of chicken nuggets. What? Like, like chicken nuggets aren't even from a school. From the school, like they're she, not even that good. Like she's they're terrible. Tra- yeah, they're she's like, like in charge of it. But like, like I, the school I chicken a, nuggets are the worst. Yeah. Right. Like but, the amount. Like if I could find it, like that she stole you, of that is you crazy. Look it up. Let's let's do a ranking of, of chicken nuggets. So we got school, Wendy's, Burger King, uh, McDonald's. Mc, well, yeah, McNuggets, Chick Fil A. No, not Chick Fil A. What? No, let's not do a chicken. I'm I'm talking about a place that doesn't specialize in chicken. Okay. Because Chick-fil-A doesn't do nuggets. They do don't they do like popcorn chicken or popcorn I mean, or like minute. They, 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 they cut, they cut I'm talking about like, they don't they don't process. You're talking about yeah, that it's, formed it's, I'm, meat. I'm talking about nuggets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You not not like real meat. real chicken or real ish chicken. For me. <laughs> so at the very bottom, I think we gotta say we got school school nuggets. Yeah. At the top, we got Mig Nuggets. Ooh. I so, know the Wendy spicy nuggets are pretty pretty dank. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So I got the I got Burger the number, King. I got Burger the King one. would be Burger. So you, a Burger King would be at the bottom. Yeah. So we got yeah, totally. high, uh, high school or school nuggets, Burger King, and what else did we say? Wendy's and McDonald's. Wendy's and McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah, I'd have to go Wendy's over McDonald's. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I like te- I like that that crisp that text the the whatever you call it. I know. It's I mean, not- I mean when uh when the the grease is fresh in McDonald's, mm-hmm. it does taste a little bit better. But on yeah. average, when you just, you know, there's like only four butter. shapes of chicken McNuggets. Yeah, they're all dinosaurs. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot Carl's Jr. They got the chicken stars, but that's that's weird. What? Carl's Jr. They have chicken stars. Uh, you never, never had them. Never yeah. seen them. Don't. No. All right. Well, then we're gonna put those below Burger King. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Oh, sorry. It wasn't chicken nuggets. That was one of those chicken wings from school. But at a school. Yeah. But I got the what school I, has I, chicken I wings. There, right? I want to go pri- to that What school? private school is this? <laughs> <laughs> take my money. All right, cool. Hot so, wings. So I, I do got the number pulled up. If you guys want to take a guess. Okay, uh, so one person. It's, it was outside of Chicago. I'm going to say. Wait, wait, wait. 11,000 cases. You just told us then. 11,000 cases, but I didn't tell you. The okay, dollar so. That's it, what wait, we have for. to clarify. Uh, uh, elementary, middle, or high school? Uh, it just says uh, the suburban school district. Oh, okay. Like, so it's like a di- they're, um, like, what's that building behind uh, uh, McKenzie Stadium? It's like the distribution center kind of a thing, but they have that for, uh, it's the bus for food. No, what? that's down below. Oh. I'm talking above. They have like that. Oh distribution. yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. So they have stuff like that per district for food. Cause they, cause they distribute from one place. So 11 cases, 11,000 cases, 11,000, 11,000 cases. 
$125,000. Oh, wait, we're guessing the amount or we're we guessing the amount of wings? Dollar amount. Okay. Oh, you said amount. you said 125K? 125K. I'm going to go 450K. 1.5 million. Jeez. Shut up. Over 11,000 cases of chicken wings. There's uh, something uh, dealing over uh, the, during the pandemic or whatever, during the height of it, but. Oh yeah, because see that's why because they were still doing a lot mm-hmm. of uh, school districts were doing meals and then they would bring them yeah. to the schools and mm-hmm. people would lunch, come pick yeah, them up, come pick, them up like pick up a lunch meal. Chicago got it right, man. Yeah, mm-hmm. some chicken wings. She, yeah, one point chicken. five million chicken wings. Man, what 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 are they doing right? The, what are I, we doing wrong? <laughs> what what are you doing with that much chicken? I mean, I I love chicken, but I don't think I love how the hell do you much. hide that? Where the hell do you put it? You had to like rent out of a reefer, a reefer truck trailer. Yeah. I mean, like a whole damn building. Yeah. It would be a couple of like uh, 53 foot freezer trailers. Yeah. 30 foot. 53. Oh, I was going to say that's pretty short. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then what? Sell them to uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I got these wings on discount. Got, the, for you. got them wings. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, um, so it was uh, discovered by the 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 scheme was uh, uncovered by the district's business manager during a routine uh, mid year audit. The manager found the district was three hundred thousand over its annual for. Food, if I can speak right, food service budget, despite only having halfway through the school year. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's 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 excessive. Yeah, that's excessive theft. Mm-hmm. Still, a I mean, couple of boxes, man. That's yeah, that's grand. Uh, that's grand larceny. Yeah, blue collar prison. Sh- you go into prison for chicken wings. <laughs> what you went for? <laughs> got them wings and things. Saw some chicken and bones. It's like I still got some. Did they recover the chicken? The case was invested by the Cook County uh, State Attorney's Office in Liddell. And uh, Liddell, the person's name, oh. was charged with theft. She is now in custody at the Cook County Jail with a $150,000 bond. Harvey School District, blah, blah, blah. Her tenant said that she has only been on the job since last week. Oh, she told one week. Where we're charged. One week on the job. So, so it must have been in term. So is the interim superintendent only been on the job for a week? It looks like. Wait, so is the super the interim superintendent that stole it? No. Oh, oh the person. The, that, the person that reported is the being the face to media. How old is this person? 66. The one that stole or the the one that stole? 66. Would they get eight years? Oh, wait, no. It's, they, they probably just, that probably, probably just happened. Waiting. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> eight, eight to 10 years. They're going to be working for the school district for the rest of their life with no pay. It's going to work the, uh, she, she's going to work the prison cafeteria, cafeteria and <laughs> get, popped, get sent up to federal. <laughs> Well, speaking of school, so tales from the middle school this week was something new. Every week is something new, isn't it? Yeah. But this one is it. So I question for you, like you look at middle school kids, who do you think is would be the grossest out of the bunch. Uh, Girls or boys? Oh, okay. Girls? Dude, I, I was a janitor at, at a at a school for By you. a couple months. I, I'd say the boys, but surprisingly, like, being the most gross or whatever, like, the girls. Okay. So... Our bathrooms get vandalized. Okay. Often. Mm-hmm. Mostly it's like the boys' bathroom, apples and bananas being thrown in the toilet and flooded and <clears throat> like that. Okay. Like st- stupid, stupid dumb. Shit, I mean, yeah. we found a wheel for uh, one of the lunch tables in one of the toilets like two weeks ago. Don't know why. Look at the, found the kid was like, 
Why'd you throw the wheel in the toilet? Oh, <laughs> like, so you <laughs> an idiot. Um, but this week, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so this week it progressively uh, stepped up in in like every day it was something further than what it was the day before mm-hmm. in the girl's bathroom. So the first day we found, well, someone found poop on the floor. <laughs> okay. It was like, wait, uh, solid or liquid? Solid. Uh, how long? Don't know. Wasn't, wasn't, wasn't. Get the did, did, you didn't, Get the you didn't take forensics? No. Like you didn't put the dollar bill next to it or the ruler? That, no, know. not at all. Exhibit. Here's uh, the little, Sorry, little that's traffic the girl's cone. bathroom not going in there. The traffic cone with the yellow nope. one. Do, do a little chalk line. Nope. nope. Police tape. Spe- no. Speaking of those little pyramids going off topic. Fucking uh, one city in uh, Texas or whatever, the officers were using the fast food numbers from Whataburger. Mm-hmm. And they got like uh, called out to stop using those. It's pretty funny, but wait, what do you mean? The like police, like, police like were using the the, the, the water burger fast food like numbers. Why are you saying water burger? Water burger. Water. No, it's the what about the water burger? No, that's, that's the name. That's not how you say it. Yes. No, it's not. Then how do you say it? You're not saying water burger. Yes. It's water burger. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Water Spell burger. what? Hold up. Spell what? Hold up. W H A T. They'll no, spell we will, Whataburger. We will, we will Google this. H, it's it's a Whataburger. That's how they pronounce it. It's Whataburger. I, I can't even spell pronunciation. <laughs> how do you spell it? Whataburger. Come on, Google. Just correct my shit. There you go. Hold on. Whataburger. <laughs> Whataburger. How do you how do you make it? Just go to a commercial, a Whataburger commercial. Oh, here. what a burger! What a burger! It's like what a burger! What a burger! Yeah, yeah. like what a burger! Well, you're not, not saying not what a burger. Water water. burger. <laughs> what a burger! <laughs> okay. All right. So, so back to the back to the log. So day two, now we have bloody tampons, and now we have a pile of shit, but it is on top of the toilet paper dispenser. In a stall? Yes. Is it the same bathroom or like multiple Same bathroom. Okay. Okay. So then, day three, there was a new pile of shit. Instead of being on top of the toilet paper dispenser, it was crammed in a crack in the stall by the toilet paper dispenser, like, and like puttied into the wall. Okay. And then right above it, Fingerprints and all, you can see it. Written in period blood was the word love and some other shit. Well, and you could like see like the fingerprints. Like they literally were just kind of like. Thanks for the sound effects. You're welcome. You, you going to be all right over there, corner? <laughs> so. Like dipping they, into they, they literally had to have been shitting in their hand. No, nah, they, they would have came out with a glove. Well, I don't know. No, they, they're a bunch of monkeys. <laughs> would have had to have shit in their hand mm-hmm. to have done this. There were no gloves around in the garbages, nothing like that. Well, they're not going to leave the evidence behind. We'll just pack that <gasps> in their, in oh, their it's uh, smeared all over the wall. 
Get the but here's the thing. Well, no, the Sorry, period. I'm not talking about the period. You yeah. can see the fingerprint. So I know. I'm, what, I'm, what I'm makes saying... you think they took the gloves off to do the period hand painting and not touch the shit? What do you think came first, the shit or the period? <sighs> Hopefully the maybe, period. Maybe they're ambidextrous and was oh, like. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe it's a two-person operation. Reminds me of a joke. What came first, period of the blood? So this guy wakes up after a party, goes, takes a shower, he notices two rings on his, or yeah, two rings on his, one's red, one's brown. Uh-oh. So it's like scrubbing, <laughs> not going away. It's like, oh, and uh, goes to the doctor. He's like, man, went to this party, but like, I got this, these rings, I can't get them off. So the doctor takes samples and uh, uh, later doctor appointment, follow up doctor appointment. He says, doctor says, I got some good news, some bad news, some really bad news. Says, all right, hit me up with the good news first. Well, the red ring is lipstick. Okay. What's the bad news? The brown ring is cat. Shit. What's the really bad? News? What's the really bad news? The cat has been there longer than the lipstick. <laughs> take, take that one to school with you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so then it so came to a so whole day three. The, day three is that when it peaked? Yeah, because they the janitor was just like completely done. And he just shut the bathroom like bathroom stall down there that kept happening in. It was the same stall all three days. Same stall. Same same uh, time? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Like, I mean, like when it, was it has to be like consistent pooper. I mean, we're consistent pooper. I it only at 1032 a.m. And that's it. Like and, it pretty much happened around the same time. And like that third day, like when I hear like we, first we went, through, we went like through the seven. video because we 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 clocked it into like a 30, 30 minute window. And we ID'd every single person that went in that bathroom. So Friday, I spent my morning. Calling face to face. Yeah. Face to face with a possible pooper and finger painter. <laughs> Just like, hey. like, who's the finger? Who's the finger? I, I know. It. No, I, I So there were 17 kids and I ruled out. Who's the a group of them? But there was there was five mm-hmm. that I was just like these are ones at the top of my list of the people that did this, shit. Yeah. and one of them was in there for like ten minutes, tw- fifteen minutes. I was like, I mean, most likely it was that person. This is also the person that brought a hamster to school in their backpack. The same, yeah. The then there were for the, the then there were these other two, and then it just so happened like the counselor gave me some information. So now they kind of jumped like up to the top of the list also. when I was just like, all right. So Tuesday, when I get back to school, I got to finish my poop investigation and try to figure out who the did this. So I called him a poop Casso for, yeah. Ooh. So, so your investigation continues, or you actually have a? I have a good feeling. I know who it is. Is it the hamster? I think so. Oh man! But then again, it might be this other one that jumped to the top of my list after talking to the counselor. Wait, wasn't the hamster? Was the hamster a chick? Huh? Okay. So he, I'm, yeah, he never clarified it when he told this hamster story. I was gonna say like I thought it was a dude. <clears throat> Poop. Well. <laughs> And then Friday just turned into just like a running poop joke all day long from everyone. Even admin, even staff. <laughs> admin, staff. The faculty. The, yeah. Playing uh, bigger and better in the stall for the pooping game. I like walked into the office and I was like, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, a new planking challenge. Who could out uh, poop the other? Yeah. An investigation is, is no, never mind. It was getting flushed. Got to flush out the uh, the. Got to got to got to flush <laughs> out the poop bandit. Well, at least you got a beer and a water. 
whatever out of out of uh, as a consolation. No, that okay, so I went to Vegas. <laughs> Uh, you went to Vegas when? Uh, la- last weekend. Really? Yeah. Is that why you were like Super MIA? Bowl weekend? Yeah, I was. I was in Vegas Super Bowl weekend. I came back Super Bowl Sunday. Oh, okay. Morning. Yeah, I was in Vegas. That, last that, week. That's why it was light. Huh? When I asked you, like, uh, you know, usual thing you got going on, and you're like, yeah, it's gonna be pretty light compared yeah. to what you usually do. So yeah, yeah, well, like I got back at like eleven in the morning and wow, came home and cooked food and just like just impromptu out. no i was there for a coach's uh oh clinic. this was this was uh work yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay so <laughs> uh we just came back from lunch had some great ramen it was delicious and i was like want a beer and he needs some water because i'm dehydrated so i go into the store uh inside the casino uh kind of by where we we entered for our uh clinics we go back to the the rooms and all that Mm. so i got my water got my beer i'm standing in line there's this person in the front of the line they're taking way too long and the people at the front were just being slow Mm. it was like going to a walmart on a busy day checkers are slow because they're 90 um so finally person this chick moves and people start getting rung up again and all of a sudden i like hear this like hey can you help me out and i was like the fuck like right. look to the side of me because i had an air pod in too so i was like well i don't know what's going on mm-hmm. uh, look and there's nobody there i was like okay <laughs> whatever and i just stand in there and then i hear it again hey can you help me out and i turn and there's this chick standing right there and it was like with what I was like can you buy me cigarettes what she's all i'll buy your beer and water she's all i just don't have my id on me like and they won't accept the picture of my id it's like yeah most places wouldn't but sure why the fuck not she's like okay here's my card here's my card number do 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 like all right so i'll give me a pack of newport 100s gotcha I walk up there and like water, beer, need a pack of Newport 100s. Okay, here you go. Insert your card. Boop, 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 boop. Put it in the number. All right, cool. You're good. So I take the card. Now, on further inspection, I probably should have knew something was up when I saw the card, when I actually like looked at it. Who's Barry Johnson? But I'll come back to that. Okay. Byron Chappelle in the f- you get, so, you got the same name? What? I'll, I'll, I'll come back to that, to the card. So just remind me. Um, so anyways, I, I, I walk out and she's sitting by a machine. I go and hand her a card and the cigarettes. And I was like, all right. She's all, oh, thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for the beer. Walk away. So, hey, what? Turn around. Now she's like standing up and she's now following me the way I'm, where I'm walking. She's like, hey, what are you, what are you doing? Uh, what, are, what, are you, what are you here in Vegas for? It was like coach's convention or coach's clinic. Was like, oh, yeah, I have seen a lot of guys walking around with like the name badges and stuff like that. And I was like, yep. She's like, oh, are you staying here at the hotel? Nope. Airbnb with the uh, other coaches that I'm here with. She's like, oh, well, that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> that sucks. I was going to come to and, 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 and I was like, why does that suck? <sighs> Shouldn't have answered. <laughs> ask yeah. question, but you asked. She's all because <laughs> I'm really appreciative that you got me those cigarettes and I was going to give you one of my. Free, uh, one of my massages for free. Oh. oh, okay. And then immediately it was like, oh. <laughs> 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 and then proceeded a conversation about cops are 
assholes, and I was just like, oh god, what no. have you? What have you got? What, what have into? I? What have I gotten myself into? And I'm just sitting there, and I'm just like, I'm just trying to drink a beer and like go to my clinic and have a cigarette. Like that's all I want. <laughs> so she's like, oh yeah, she's all. She's all, uh, how long are you in the clinic? So I was like, till later this evening, mm-hmm. like all day. It's like, oh yeah, well maybe we can hook up later tonight and go hang out. And no, thank you. I ass. Oh, <sighs> yeah, I don't think so. She's like, hey, you should uh, let me get your number, and then I stopped, and. The first thought, can you think of my first thought that I thought when she said, can I get, can I get your number? Uh, I left my phone. No. What? It, more to the asshole side. It was just like, I should totally give her Sean's number. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. And cause. Do, do you know it? Can, can you, you, can you imagine? Him getting that text message. Like, what the <laughs> f- <laughs> That would have been great. <laughs> oh my God. So anyways. Oh, thanks for the thanks for the tip. She now wasn't she wasn't gonna leave without like so what I did is I gave her my old Google voice number. Mm. that I had. She's like, what's your name, Brian? It's like, all right, so I'm going to text you. We can go hang out and, 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 and get some drinks and stuff like that. I was like, okay. Oh, there's my coaches. I got to go. And I, zoop, she's zoop. All, so I'm like walking away. And she's like, have a good time. She's all, hope you win lots of money. She's all, Speak it into existence and it will come to you. I was like, oh, shit. now you got it. you're a hooker and a motivational speaker. What the? F- <laughs> <laughs> and then I hid behind a machine and I cracked open my beer because I was going to have a cigarette. And I was like, whoo, I got away. And then all of a sudden, here she comes walking. And I was just like, and I pulled, I pulled the Homer Simpson into the hedges. And I was just like, <laughs> and like walking backwards around one of the machines. Mm-hmm. I was just like, okay. And so, like, I walk in, and this other coach, he was from, like, Texas or something. He saw me having the conversation with her, and he goes, <laughs> he's like, yeah. I was like, no. I was like, it is way too early for them to be working right now. And he was like, ooh. He's like, I just thought you pulled something. I was like, no, nah, man. No thanks. No thanks. No thanks. Thanks, but no thanks. It's like, I'm out. None of that. When uh, when we were we stopped at uh, Plaid Pantry before coming up here today, and uh, there was a lady kind of like hanging around the corner of the building, and she's just hovering. And I was like, okay, it's gonna be somebody. Like they never wait for they never get you on the way in. They always get you on the way out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that's when you got the change. That's when you got the change. Yeah. So I was like, all right. And as soon as like we we got what we got and then came out. And I saw her, I was like, all right, here it comes. And uh, standing right in our path, it's like, hey, you got some change that I can have? And like, nope, I don't carry, I don't carry cash on me. And uh, response got weird. It was, uh, I worked in the medical field for 20 years and I always carried cash on me. It's like, the fuck does I have to do with carrying cash? Like, what the fuck? And why don't you have cash on you now? It's like, <laughs> it's like, why aren't you still in the medical field? It's not like she's old enough to retire or anything, but yeah. Stole a key, got into the drug cabinet. Probably. Mm-hmm. She was on the, on the receiving end of the medical field. <laughs> but yeah, it's always. She probably was just literally in a medical field. Medical waste field. Yeah. Or something Something, something. Yeah. Like usually it's just, Hey, can I have a, whatever? Like, don't got anything. I was like, uh, ah, all right. Like usually it's not a, there. it's like some of the responses that are coming back are just getting really bizarre. 
Yeah, that. I'm just an ass at this point. Mm-hmm. I get tired of people asking me for money. What you? What, you have like a go-to? They'll be like, "Hey, can I have some money?" Like nobody ever got it just by asking. Okay. <laughs> it's perfect. Yeah. Was, you? No, nah, but I got accused of being racist against brown people for not giving any money. Oh, that's happened to me before too. But yeah. not and they weren't because even brown. I didn't give them money. What was that? And they weren't even brown. No, they were. They were. Okay. So, so uh, my first night. In uh, New Zealand, uh, when I went to New Zealand, wait, uh, what? I went to New Zealand and play baseball in tournament. No, no, I know that. I mean, but my okay. first day night there in town, like me and a group of guys, were walking the main strip in Auckland, and uh, like two guys are like, "Hey, you got some change?" We're like, no, we don't got any money. And like one of the dudes like shakes his pocket and is like, "Cling, cling, cling," because uh, a they don't have any dollar bills less than uh, five dollars. It's like coin, like two dollar, one dollar, fifty cent. All the way down like that. So mm-hmm. you could have a pocket full of coins and have like like twenty dollars there easily. And like these guys are just giving us shit or whatever and like, yo, you guys are racist against brown people, not giving us change, blah, 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 blah. But nothing ever came of that. But and and they were at, like Aborigine. Oh, okay. You should want to hear brown, it's that's it that's that Maori. they said brown people. Well, or Maori. Maori, yeah. yeah Aborigine Maori. I got accused of being racist. I was working. You as, always? I was working at as a bouncer over at Shanahan's. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was a long time ago, huh? Yeah, yeah. And uh, it was it was rod run night, and this chick comes down the down the um, sidewalk, <laughs> trips over nothing, stumbling, just drunk. <laughs> as mm-hmm. She walks up to the door, and I was like, I can't let you in. She's like, it's because I'm black, huh? <laughs> and I just looked at her and I was like, yep. Yes, it is. It's because you're black. She's like, you're all racist. And I was like, mm-hmm. I sure am. That reminds me of the Nichols. It's like I'm racist Nichols against story. black people. It's like, don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> He's the modern day Clayton Bigsby. The other, the other <laughs> bouncer's just sitting there and he just starts cracking the fuck up. And I was just like, <laughs> you should just, you just kept going. Like, like, I don't like, I don't like you. Don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> Start listening off all the reasons. Uh, uh, go on the whole Clayton Bigsby. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. Clayton Bigsby rant. <laughs> White nose, having breathing all the white man's breathing air. Breathing all the white man's air. <laughs> <laughs> the cuddling is rice. Cuddling is rice. Sounds like a Mexican dish. <laughs> white power. That's how you should have <laughs> topped it off. <on>, white power. <laughs> so, so funny thing about like, like screaming out white power or whatever, but uh, me and my best friend, we were at Walmart. We were walking, uh, doing some quick shopping or whatever, but we were walking by the registers and there's this family of black people like going through the checkout line. My, my best friend, he's white. Mm-hmm. Nasally, like Clayton Biggs boy, voice. Mm-hmm. White power. And he's just like, like he's white, but he like went like completely like ghost pale. Like, oh, no, no, no. And like the family like starts looking around and shit like that. Oh, he didn't know that they, he didn't know that they were there. Nah. Oh, okay. He was saying it to you. No, I said I said that. Oh, I, 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 I said white power. Oh, and then my friend, whatever, he's like, oh, f- no, 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 no. Like, it's funny. you set me up. Yep. Complete setup. It's funny. Eh? I think the dumbest shit I did in a store was in Blockbuster, and that would have been with Sean. She was here to tell that story because he probably remembers it better than I do. You're like, this is back in the, in the, I, I went everywhere with the video camera days and, uh, I was having him follow me around in Blockbuster and I was like doing little, little tumble rolls and stuff. And oh, I think you've talked rolls. about this before. Yeah. Probably years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I think I rolled into like one of the, like a Boba Fett display or something, just like what, what cardboard cut out and was like, <laughs> and we're like, get the fuck out of here. So he, we we uh, booked it. It's fantastic. Yeah.
Wait. You, anything else happened in Las Vegas? Japanese school. Oh, yeah. So, same day as the hooker, mm-hmm. but while I was at lunch, yeah, I was walking. <laughs> I don't know why this stuck out in my head. I'm like coming down out of the horseshoe or Bally's or whatever the f- it's called now. And Bally's? Yeah. Bailey's? Bally's. Okay. Like Bally's Total Fitness. You don't remember that place? Oh. Okay, yeah. But the hotel was Bally's, but now I think it's just called the Horseshoe. Why they chose that? Because Bally's Fitness is not around anymore? Yeah, it's probably. Planet Fitness everywhere? Um, so anyways, I'm coming down the escalator <laughs> and just standing in the middle of this courtyard. Nobody around is just this Japanese chick dressed as a Japanese schoolgirl. Wouldn't that be just a Japanese dressed as a schoolgirl? No, no, no. This was like a grown woman. Oh, okay. And I was just like, that is random as You can see your crow's feet. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but then the first thought that went through my head when I saw that, and I was just like, you know how many like dudes are probably gonna like walk by and like try to live out that, that fantasy? Yeah. It's just weird. I don't know. Wait, so was this a, this a pro? No, it was just a random just person ran, just, just random walking person around. Just walking around. Just, yeah, they were backpacking headed, everything? Yeah. They headed up into, well, by backpack, you mean the little small Japanese schoolgirl backpack? Yeah. The Hello Kitty yeah. backpack? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, definitely that. Just walking up into. In, so going up the escalator, I was just like, what, fuck? It's like, what is this? Vegas is the cyberpunk of real life with what you find on the strip. Just saying. You're talking about the game? Yes. Oh, okay. I saw them play. It's acceptable. I need to go to Vegas. I did see uh, What's Michael cool? Jackson Black from show. Wish. <laughs> it was horrible. Great value, Michael Jack MJ. Yep, pretty much. I was down there on uh, Fremont. I was just like, dude. You ain't gonna get no money looking like that. He's going. Hoo, hoo. He's like, yeah, he's like, he. <laughs> <laughs> uh, great times. Great times. Great times. Should uh, we're having that trip to plan or that trip that we planned to go to Vegas? Like all three of, or well, when it was showing. Well, now it's all three of us. Yeah. Uh, next August. Really? Yeah, you're throwing days out. No. Next August, 2024. Okay. Just get on Priceline. The USC is uh, playing LSU for the season opener (laughs) in Las Vegas. So. In 2024. Yep. We'll all be mic'd up in body cam. So, uh, Kevin... (laughs) And me decided we we're going to go down, but now we'll just make it a whole, make it a, a whole, whole thing. thing. Yes. Okay. Body cam and mic'd up. Why body cam? So no one gets lost. Oh, okay. Because Vegas is the cyberpunk of real life. Or where they get lost. Oh, so we can document our, uh, our, yes. uh, Japanese school girl, uh, Hey, buy me some smokes. Yep. Moment. You know, what's really funny after I saw the Japanese school girl, I went and ate ramen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough. It was delicious. So, so, so she was actually so she was actually a plant to subliminal advertising. I was yes. already going to eat ramen because I found the shop the day before, but that that just solidified my decision to go eat ramen. 
So let me, let's see if we can like, you know, the six degrees of bacon, but uh, do the six degrees of, of ramen fu- chop. No, f-ed up. So you saw the, you saw the Japanese school girl. You thought of like, oh, uh, tentacle porn. Ramen. The tentacles. All right. Remind me of ramen. <laughs> <laughs> She's so embarrassed by it. Yeah, she is. Yeah. <laughs> She's the why the f come. Yeah, exactly. Stupid. It's like this was not worth it. And you probably got off just by getting her like a six pack of like the hostess donuts, huh? Nope. She had to uh because so funny story, uh DMV bullshit again. Can't you have to? You still have to schedule a driving test, and you can't do it in person. Like there's a whole, they have list all their um, uh, DMV branches, and all the ones that you can go in person to schedule, uh, like uh, an impromptu or you know, uh, unscheduled drive test, are like ones like Hermiston or Pendleton or the Dalles or uh, uh, Klamath Falls. Nowhere anywhere along I five or you know anywhere else local. So, um, and then every time I try to schedule it, it's like not, nothing available, nothing available, nothing available. So they said to, I went into one and they said, oh, you, you'll want to try to get in on Monday nights on the website to try to schedule something. So I've been, I did that for like two weeks straight. Couldn't get anything. And so finally it was like the third or fourth week. Um, I get on there and the only place I can get close by, or at least along I-5 is the same exact place that we had to do it before, which is in Jansen Beach or uh, Delta Park. So last time I went, I, uh, went there, I took the oldest kid and, uh, drove her, let, let her drive around and kind of get familiar with the area in case, you know, like, Oh, turn here, turn there, you know, or turn on, turn on Vancouver or turn on, uh, uh, MLK or something like that. And it's like, I don't know what that is. Anyways. Um, do you remember what Delta park looked like two years ago? Yep. Yeah. It's a lot, lot, not a whole lot better, but. Like no cars down there across the field, hmm. like they're all gone. Oh. Or, what about behind the uh, behind the fields? There yeah, was right. that whole strip, that whole street. Yeah, that just, that, that one that goes along with uh, MLK. Uh, yeah, yeah. The to to our I five, kind of I five. Yeah. No, there's like some tents, but not not as bad as it used yeah, to. Yeah, like that that whole yeah. lot was lined with mm-hmm. cars and yeah. No, RVs. They, they, they moved to like uh, Geralt or something like that. Whatever. Geralt. Geralt. Yeah. Geralt. Yeah. Geralt. Yeah. They went to Geralt. Or Geralt. Or gets, I don't know what the hell the name is, but it's, uh, it, it intersects with like Vancouver and. Uh, they just need to unflood Vanport and put them all there. And then reflood it. And then reflood then the it. Reflood. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they were all lined up on uh, on the uh, east side of MLK, going down like towards Columbia. Oh. So there was like five or six uh, RVs, and then cars and cars and trailers in between them. <laughs> Did see one like half of a Tahoe or a suburban that was across the field there that that area. Yeah, but yeah, not as bad, but not great. Yeah, because I was totally expecting to clean it, it up. Cleaning it up. Slowly. But yeah. Apparently we're supposed to go. It's the only place you can get a, a drive test at. That's Can't probably the reason home. why. Sure. Well, yeah. what, are you going tomorrow? No. I was about to say good luck with that. It's President's Day. You yeah, probably no. won't get it. Word. Yep. Got a month for that. Also got jury duty next month. Oh yeah, well, that sucks. That does suck. Jury duty is a pain in the ass. I never realized how, that uh, until I, you know, got I had to, I started looking into it last year when I got po- pooled for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you don't get paid. For it. No, it was like get, like 15, 15 bucks a day, something like that. Yeah, Wait, which I mean, is stupid if you miss work and you have to, like they should be compensating you. Yeah, well, like I mean, like depending on the company, they'll pay you like. I, I did it and my company paid me. It, so for me to get it, I have to take PTO and jot it under jury duty. Hmm. So, I mean, I can get paid, but then that eats into my PTO. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. 
But like when you go to the selection, just talk. You're random. Like I sat there and said nothing. I got selected. <laughs> just, just start picking my nose. Yeah, right. <laughs> like I, I could have got out of it too. Right, because it. Like <laughs> the case, um, this is a crazy like case or uh, events in the case. But um, like it was over by my grandpa's like neighborhood. And mm-hmm. if I would have said, oh yeah, this part of this moment where I blah, 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 live, uh, then I could be like excluded just because it'd be local bias or whatever. Yeah. Local bias. Um, but the case was this, uh, dude got part, got popped for, uh, uh, theft vandalism in this trailer park for stealing a water heater in the middle of the night. Um, his story was that like his friend's water heater in the house, like blew out or whatever. And they had no hot water. So he got permission to go take one out of a, a double wide or whatever mm-hmm. to be able to replace it. Um, so like the three days later is a hung trial, like nobody make up their mind or whatever, guilty or innocent, but, uh, prior, like this wasn't his first time being tried for this, like the second or third jury down the, uh, second one, I think it was. Yeah. But, um, after we went through the trial, we got to talk to the attorneys and stuff like that, the DA mm-hmm. and, uh, Something that was was agreed upon from both sides was that the groundskeeper for the uh, park that allegedly gave the permission was found dead like the next day. But that was voted to exclude in, in the trial, in our trial or whatever. Oh. So. Like that was a whole separate thing and that wasn't part of. So they felt they probably... Um, <laughs> What is it? Motion, motion for exclusion or something like yeah. that. Where uh, they, yeah, it was a motion because it would have uh, tainted. Yeah, well, not mm-hmm. yeah, tainted or persuaded the yeah the jury to think that oh, that's related and it's guilty. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Yeah, for my jury duty, I just showed up in shorts and a t-shirt. So shorts judge wasn't up. happy about it. <laughs> it was like this is a court of law. It's like I'm not in court like I'm here for jury duty they're like do you know anything about this case yeah I heard about it okay you're dismissed I can go home yep all right duty just, served just to to deal with you yep mm-hmm. I'll show up and do like a uh, maybe some subtle subtle ticks or whatever like just like constantly sniff snort See, I had jury be, duty be over in Multnomah County, mm-hmm. and that was completely different. While living in, were you living in Multnomah? Uh, y- yes. I was using an address so I didn't have to pay out of state tuition. Uh, show up with your Washington plates. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but that one was weird. You had to be there at like six o'clock in the morning. And then you just sat in a room, like this big ass room mm-hmm. with people. Courtroom. No. No, no. It's just like a big old lobby room. It's just a big ass <clears throat> lobby with s- seats. Oh. And you want to know what I did the entire time? I fucking slept. <laughs> <laughs> My name was never called, sat there. And then, at, like, finally at like one o'clock, they're like, all right, if your name hasn't been called yet, you guys can go for the day. For the day? I was like, I'm not f***ing coming back. I never did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because basically, like, like for me or whatever, mine was here in Clark County. But, uh, like, yeah, it sat in a big old lobby room. Like, because you had to sign, like, a group number or whatever. Mm-hmm. And like that. And you wait till your group gets called up. And then you go into a selection where both sides question, like, randomly pick and question people. And then they'll make their selection. And go do the thing. So for three days, I got to miss work, which I got paid for. You should show up looking like the dude. The dude. The, the Lebowski. Yep. yep. Put on your black hoodie, black beanie, with black glasses right there and just like show up as the, the Unabomber. <laughs> Not the, <laughs> the hoodie. No, he, doesn't he have a... No, he had, he had a trench coat. No, that was... Not a trench coat. Not, not it's a... It's like an overcoat. Not an overcoat. Poncho. Yeah, like poncho. It's almost like a robe, isn't it? Sure. Yeah. 
Just show up in the bathroom. Flippers or flippers. Slippers. Yes. Flippers. Flippers. Yes. Flippers. I'm go I don't know if I'm go go taking a scuba nap. diving. Yeah. Yes. All right. All right. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Where is it?